welcome back to this tutorial series about C++ in fact let me append it here so you're discussing C++ conditional statements and now we are talking about if else so the if else executes now it, it works like this we execute the if if the given condition is true and then execute the else if the given condition is false in similar way you can invert it to execute if if the condition is false execute else if the condition is true so the syntax looks like this we say if condition then oh it didn't open here yeah. if the condition is true then we execute this So we execute this if the condition given here is true or we can have the else part here and the else part we execute it it's in this similar way like this mm -hmm. now this one at least makes sense so if the condition is true we execute whatever is here and if the condition is false we execute whatever is here so this is the syntax now let's have a previous program and we set the age to 13 so now if our age is greater or equal to like that so Come on. So if our age is greater or equal to 18, then instead of execute this, we can simply print on the screen. Mm, this is eligible to vote. So this argument there terminate your statement and then if the age is less than 18 then we can simply print that you are you are still young okay so this is what it means our age is 13 then <coughs> it means age is less than 18 okay so if we replace this one with 13 13 can't be greater we got 18 so that's what it means by having age here so you can easily see that this is false so the whole of this body the whole of this block the whole of this block won't be executed so we simply skip, we go to the one that does the else part. <coughs> Sorry. So if we come here and then we add the else part here. So see out. You are still young. Like this. I don't know if you see this very well. So this is it and if we execute this so you can easily see that eligible to vote. Why? Because someone is 18 and above but if we change this one to 13 like we're using then you should see clearly that we are printing you are still young. So it means 13 is not greater we got 18 so this one becomes false and as long as it's false then we skip the whole of this body and we come to the else part so this is it all about the if else and we meet in the next lecture or tutorial when i'm talking about the if else 
Steve. Oh, ya, yeah, okay.